All right, another vid of a um, Palomar 300A. Uh, this is a customer's, not mine. And um, I let the guy send it to me, and I'm like, okay, you know, I, I'll do it because um, I kind of got lots of 300As and lots of parts for them. And um, um, I like the design of them, pretty rugged and pretty simple amp to work on. Um, so I took it on, and uh, it wasn't bad. Uh, it's a nice looking. 300A and the guy packed it decent even though um, the power supply here the transformer uh, didn't have a cover on it and if you can see the little bin there in that corner um, that was probably shipping damage um, that's the only damage I think that happened during shipping of it so I wanted to show that but um, everything's working and um, we're just gonna do a video of um, it um, in on the bench coming up pretty quick um, see the new caps in there um, low voltage cap um, bias cap um, we added this relay here for the um, power transformer for the high voltage um, it switches the um, uh, high voltage for the power transformer on only during transmit and that's more of a safety thing if one of the tubes has a glitch or short or leaks um, if it had the high voltage on it all the time um, that could be a problem where the um, power supply or the amp or something could go up in smoke even if it was in standby so on most of the Palomar 300A's they have a relay installed to, to turn on the high voltage to the tubes only during transmit so that's what we added here if you see those two uh, red jumper wires there um, some of the amps had uh, the relay right there on the board and some of them mounted the relay a little bit above where I got that one mounted but anyway that's the purpose of that relay if it has one so it's a better amp with the relay and that's why I put it in there um, also those four diodes there are go to the voltage doubler um, circuit on this one and if you have the four uh, you need the low voltage 300 volt transformer that's a voltage doubler um, the um, ones that use a full way bridge is one um, one component instead of four diodes and a bridge just has um, four diodes in one case in a uh, full way bridge configuration and those that have the uh, bridge in one case um, needs the 600 volt transformer but anyway that's how to tell on the RF deck uh, which unit you have almost all of them I've saw probably 90-95% are that configuration there it's more common anyway uh, that's the uh, input tuner on the high side on the high side you're using the two driver tubes and that pot there is for the meter and then this uh, tuner over here by the high low switch is for the low side where you're not using the driver tubes you're driving the uh, four output tubes directly so put it on low and you would tune that one for lowest SWR or some people tune it for um, max power out Sometimes you can find a happy medium between low SWR and most power out. Then uh, same with the um, tuner for the um, high side with the driver tubes. You can tune it for lowest SWR if you have your uh, SWR meter in between the radio and the amp on the input side, not the output side. And when people get no power out of an amp they say everything's working but I ain't getting no power I always ask them well what's your input SWR if your input SWR is very very high on the input side it means the um, the uh, drive power from the radio going into the amp is not getting to the tubes and that's why you have an extremely high input SWR a lot of reasons could cause that bad relay or the uh, input tuner cap if it has one like that can short so your power wouldn't reach the tubes anyway I guess that's enough of the um, talking on the inside of this thing we do have it off 
in two places. Try to be careful. We have the power off on the switch here and we turn it off on the um, circuit breaker over there. So we have it off in two places in case, you know, we accidentally hit the power on and we, you know, got it plugged in and power on. We don't want to kill ourselves. So um, normally we always call, uh, turn it off in two places, but this is the inside of it. Also had two bad tubes. We cleaned it up a little bit. And I think that was all wrong with it. The diodes, the caps, two bad tubes, meter was sticking. We fixed that and um oh the preamp switch wasn't working so the preamp wasn't turning on at all so we uh, replaced the switch with an original we had out of another one um and i'm going to show you how i tune an amp so we're gonna start with um how i start i turn the tune on a um, cb amp i turn the tune and the load to the center if you see there and if you see the one in the back here, you can't see the knob, but if you see the fins, you know, that would be minimum with them all the way out. And that would be maximum with the all the way in. And I, again, you know, start in the center. And I always start on the low side, you know, when you key an amp. Or if you got a radio with variable power, turn the radio down. You won't want to tune up at high power if the amp is badly mistuned because, you know, the longer you mistune it, the uh, hotter it is on the tubes. So, I'm going to turn that on. And like I said, we got to turn the um, power strip on. Over there. And it's warming up. Again, on the low side. I'm just going through tuning of how I tune an amp right quick. And on the low side of this, since it's not using the um, driver tubes... And I'm using a little Mud Duck Midland radio over there. Um, let's turn it off at 19. Let's go to 13. That little Mud Duck radio. Let's put it on standby. And put this on the 20 watt scale. And let's show what the little Mud Duck radio is doing. Hello. That's 20 watt scale. So it's dead keen a little under 3 audio. <sighs> Talking to 4 or 5 watts. Um, I do got the amp in line and the um, digital watt meter on the input side, you know, in between the radio and the amp. And you can see a little under 3 watts, uh, 1.1 SWR. And I got a great big giant dummy load up there. You probably can't see it behind all the stuff up there. So anyway, amp ought to be warm, so... Let's go to 200 watt scale, and again, we're on the low side. And I think we're ready to key it down. And barely getting, you know, four or five watts. That's the 200 watt scale. And this is going to be fun trying to tune it with a mic in one hand. All right, I think we got it. Nope, we don't have the amp on. There we go. Amp on. And then dead key, tuning the tune. I'm up to about 40 watts. Unkey it because you want to do this quickly as possible because it's hard on the tubes when an amp is mistuned. So key it up Get around about 45 watts. What do you think I happen on the low side when I tune the tuner in the back here? Yeah, I'd need another hand to do it. Let's see if we can carefully do this and reach over with a live amp. Okay, we're tuning that. And as you can see, nothing's happening. Hmm. Why do you think that is? Give it attaboy for the first person who answers that one. Um, so anyway, I'm going to put it on the high side. And start over again. Oh. Let's get off the 200 watt scale. Dead key. Tune and load. Close to 300. Tune and load. And then we're going to do the uh, tuner in the back. 
very little difference. So we did it can about 300. We already did the input SWR, so we're not going to turn it over and uh, do that one for the purposes of this video. So we got a tune for maximum dead key, but I'm a um, swing man myself. So since I'm tuned for maximum dead key now with me, and I like peak watts, a lot of people don't. But if you like swing, you can uh, leave it on average or swing and go audio or whistle and then tune it again um, for maximum swing. So audio. 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 Can't get close to the mic while I'm doing this. Audio. 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 Eh, close to 500. Hello, hello. I could hit 500 if I um, put the camera down and uh, got up in the mic while I was tuning, but it's not easy to key the mic with one hand and yell audio and tune and uh, be running my mouth and trying to run the uh, camera to it one time. I need a third hand. But anyway, here to do 500 peak. I could peak it up a little bit. Probably get another 50, 60 watts out of it if I um, peaked it up. And right quick on average. Audio. <whistles> Pretty much standing still with 300 watts. Audio, and again, that's with the Mud Duck radio um, driving it. If I put like a big bad tram uh, behind it, it would do more. And if I put that Titan 4 behind it, it would dead key a lot less because the Titan dead keys a lot less. But I would still get uh, probably get a little more swing out of the uh, Titan 4. But anyway, regular Mud Duck uh, radio behind it, and as you can see, uh everything doing good no glitches no nothing audio 300 solid watts audio audio just a purring along all right that's gonna it be it for this customers um palomar 300a before i pack it up and uh send them back to him all right bye